So this ant farm is actually a pretty real representation of how many ideas I have that I start and I never really, I never really take it all the way through. Let's just move the camera again as if it wasn't annoying enough to put in that position. <laughs> so on here alone, we have about 10 different videos. And then we go to this drawer, which is the next stage it gets to once it's, <laughs> once it gets placed on here, it gets put in this drawer. And at one point, this drawer was all organized. These are all ideas for videos. And then I've got, I've got one or two more in here. So here's what normally happens. I see something cool, I have the idea for it. But the most recent one is this $20 smart ring I got from Timu. And I need to do some kind of product review for it because I guess here's my plan. Number one, I think this is super cool and I love this. But then I also found that Samsung are gonna be bringing out their Galaxy Ring in the second half of this year. And I think that would be a cool opportunity to be a part of that. So if I can start making some contact content on this smart ring now, hopefully they can pick me up and I might be able to sponsor with them. So I've been testing out on runs, but there's a, there's a different test I wanna do today. Ow. Now for the longest time, I've been wanting to see how does my heart rate change when I lie on this? This is an acupressure mat, and these are all tiny needles. They're actually kind of sharp. But this is meant to release a load of chemicals in your body that help you reach a state of relaxation. The first few times I tried this, nothing really happened. But then, once I started to embrace the feeling, I hit this hallucination stage where I had like purple pulsing circles behind my eyes and like felt the most relaxed I've ever felt before. So I think we'll give it a go. All right, let me screen record. All right, so here is the app, JU Pro. Sleep seems to go, oh no, it's synchronizing. Seem, seemed to be all right last night, but I want to be checking my heart rate, automatic heart rate test. I want to do this every uh, 15 minutes isn't really enough, is it? So I could just have it continuously run and then do a screen recording to monitor it. That might be kind of cool. Oh, baby. Time for 20 minutes. Oh, it's been a long time, buddy. Jinkies, I forgot the discomfort. With a resting heart rate around 84-ish, I noticed an immediate spike as the needles went into my back with a spike in heart rate all the way up to the top 90s. I bought this smart ring because I love the idea of tracking my health data with like absolutely no effort. And I want something smaller than an Apple Watch. All I can hear is my kid upstairs. I need some... <laughs> I've got some noise cancellation headphones. But then I wasn't sure exactly how accurate the readings were as I went from 74 straight up to 96, just putting the headphones in. I'd say I'd expect to see a higher heart rate in the first like four to six minutes as the body adjusts to the needles and the chemicals passing through the body. But after that, I'd really expect it to drop a lot more. Looking at the results, I was a bit worried that actually this didn't monitor anything below 70, but I did manage to get a 69 in here. But for the most part, my heart rate seemed to just stay at 70. I've just been thinking about my failed merch line. <laughs> and even getting to 15 minutes, I'd forgotten how long it actually took me last time to get into the swing of this hallucination relaxation stage. So I'm going to have to try again for the next few days to get an accurate reading. Oh, mummy, it's like stuck in my skin. How's it look? Oh, baby. Looking juicy. Where's the... Oh, here it is. The, uh, the fix we made so that I'd know which one was which very easily didn't stick. <laughs> I always find this is a little bit more dramatic, a little bit of time after. Oh, yummy. Good girl. Good girl, Judah. Into a multi-part. <laughs> always do this. You know, I didn't plan to turn this into a multi-part video, but as I was going through that, I really struggled to get back into the swing of being able to let go of everything. So I think I'm gonna to have to do a couple of videos and then I can also bring in like, uh, how does it compare to the fake Apple Ultra watch that I have? I think this is a bit more, this was 30. And then maybe I can invest in a, a branded one of these, like the Ultra Human Ring and do a comparison. Oh, by the way, to get the heart rate monitor, I can't show you my screen at the moment. Well, I guess I can show you this screenshot. So I had it set to track as if I was doing a walk and then it, I did a screen recording of my heart rate and how it changes. And then I'll line that up with the timings of the video 
to see if it you know, increases or decreases.